Hello everyone. Today's short tutorial is about how you set up code repository in Azure Data Factory. If you're new to my channel, my name is Rizang and I build data platform with Microsoft Azure. If you like videos about data engineering and Microsoft Azure, then you might want to subscribe to my channel. Before we dive in, why do we need to set up code repository in data factory. There are three reasons. One is to track changes and audit changes, just like any good software engineering practice. Two is to deploy these pipelines into a different environment later on. And three is to collaborate with each other. To get started, I'm going to assume you already have Azure Data Factory and Azure DevOps kit for the code repository. Here I am in my Azure Data Factory called Baby DF Develop or Dev. And I also have an Azure DevOps here. The organization is named Rizang and I have a project called Project Egg. Yeah. To get started, if you want to go to auto here, uh, I already have some pipelines and data sets that I will import later into the code repository as well. You want to click to this top left here, data factory and set up code repository. In here, you want to select uh, your DevOps kit. If, you're, if you want to keep the code in GitHub, you can do that as well. And in here, I'm just going to select the first one, which is demo. This is the Azure Ready Active Directory tenant where the uh, the codes, uh, where the Azure DevOps codes going to be stored. So select the one that is relevant. Okay. Click continue. You want to select the repository. Click Rizang, Project Egg, and I have some repositories here two of them called test repo and project egg, I will choose test repo and you can find it. If you go to your Azure DevOps project, you can go to repos here and you should see here, you have some options. I'm just going to use my test repo. Yeah. For this demo. Now, first thing that you want to fill in is the collaboration branch. Uh, Pick this branch carefully because <clears throat> this is the only branch where you can publish your code into the factory. So triggers, for example, have to be published in order to work. So what that means is if you have a branch and let's say if I just pick main here and you spin up a new branch from main and you create a trigger in that new branch, you won't be able to test the trigger unless you move the code or do pull requests into the main and then you click publish, which I will demo in a bit. Publish branch is where generally you select, you keep ADF publish as is, ADF underscore publish as its default. This is where when you click publish in Data Factory, Data Factory will generate and export some codes in this branch. Root folder. I generally suggest you to put it in a dedicated data factory folder. I generally name it data factory here. And you have get, you get this option here to import an existing resource. Now, what this means is if you have created some pipelines and data sets like I did, and you want to import those ones into code repository, all you do is just select which brand that you want to uh, import that to. And I just select main as well. So I'm gonna click apply and shortly this will complete repo connected and I get this error but it's just basically asking me what branch they want to select. Just save that one. Now automatically on the top left you see I'm now on main branch and I get to choose the other branch as well if i have and or i can use, switch to live mode now from here you can actually uh, collaborate and work with many people and 
you get to choose uh, what you can publish as well, uh, but only in collaboration branch is where you can publish. Uh, yeah. And just to show you that, if I'm, for example, creating a new branch, let's say test, create new branch, the publish option is grayed out because, again, it's only uh, possible from your collaboration branch. Just bear that in mind. Now, if I'm back to main branch, now I have some pipelines and data set already because I import these pipelines and data sets before when I set up the code repository. If I refresh this, now I have data factory folder and its objects. All right then, that is for today's short tutorial on how to set up code repository in Data Factory. Hope you find this useful. If you do, press like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about data engineering and Azure. All right, hope you have a good day.